Big Paul, Big Paul's Trucking, back at you. Welcome back, another exciting episode. So, cruise liner's in. As you guys can see, let's see what's going on here. I want you guys to be on the same page. We're uh, draining the antifreeze. We're getting ready to pull the uh, radiator and the engine, transmission. We're pulling that all out. Uh, look at this antifreeze, guys. It's black. How long do you think that's been in there? Black antifreeze. So uh, that's not getting put back in. But uh, we're going to be setting up a time lapse, guys, because this is kind of a big project. It's going to take a while. Uh, so we're going to have to do this in several videos. But for now, we're going to empty the cooling system, pull the radiator. Start working on pulling the engine, so you guys can hang tight. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, thanks for being with me. We're going to uh, start on hooking things. Got to get all these air pipes off of here. So hopefully you guys can see something. I'm going to bring you guys in and watch a little bit of this. I know it's a little on the boring side. Then I'll do a time lapse. Keep you guys involved. But we got to take this uh, radiator out first. All the air pipes off top of the engine. Air filter. Yank it off. And uh, let's unhook everything. We're going to pull the radiator out with the crane first. Pull the engine and transmission as one. And uh, here you are. I'm over here. Got to pull the exhaust and the intake stack and all that off too, so I'm going to try to make this as interesting as possible. Keep watching. Big Paul's trucking. This is why a lot of this is best done on a time lapse. Hang tight. Come on, hose. Come off of there. Let's see, we got something else holding it. Let's see? No. This can't go that way. doesn't like the angle. Oh, there we go. Oh, it wants to come all the way. How about the big support bracket underneath? That could be it. Let me get out of it back. guys well I'll probably go to time lapse because this is too hard to you know to film when we start pulling things it'll be a little more exciting
All right, let's take this air filter off. Uh, here we're just doing general disassembly.
kind of time consuming, but uh, it's part of the process. Kind of hard to narrate and talk through all this because it's just tedious work. Okay, well, finally we've unhooked enough stuff that it's time to pull the radiator. Boy, my new crane sure is coming in handy. Watch it go. All right, everyone, day one. Got a lot taken off this truck. Got a lot taken apart. Rad's out. For all you Australians, the rad. Tomorrow we're pulling that engine. Transmission. Be a two-day job. I get that grill out tomorrow, too, so we can flip it over and install it correctly. But, boy, we got a lot more room to work with. Pretty happy with that. So that's where we're at. Day one's over, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. It's Big Paul. Welcome back. We're getting there. Got the frame rails delivered yesterday from PG Adams. They look beautiful. Almost got this engine ready to pull out. And uh, we're going to pull the engine and transmission as one unit. And then once we get it out, we're going to pull this uh, one frame rail out and start replacing it. So check it out. Pretty nice uh, rails. 22 feet. <clears throat> Look at how nice those frame rails are. They're beautiful. 22 feet. 3 8 web, 3 8 of an inch thick. Pretty nice. Nine and a half inches in the center. Uh, a little over ten and a half inches total. Uh, well, it's more than nine and a half. It's ten inches in the middle. Ten and a half overall. Ten and almost three quarter. But it's going to work out perfect. So uh, why don't you guys hang tight and watch me do a little disassembly. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're getting ready to pull this engine. Um, we got to pull this air hose off real quick, and then we can uh, start pulling. All right, that's off. Good. Actually, got to go a little looser because it's got to like slide off of here. And then you have a half inch over there on the. Uh, oh, I might have it right here. Yeah, I do. I'll, I need that back when you're done. Take it off. I figured it would come off there. Okay. Watch that nut. Okay, there we go. Let me have that nut back. Alright, I'll stick it out there. This has a little, actually has a a bracket to this uh, airline too. We gotta take this off too. Grab a flathead screwdriver, Paul. We got one last thing to take off before we start pulling. Yeah, let me have that impact. We gotta take this air hose. Is that half inch? Paul, uh, well, we actually are gonna need a seven sixteenths socket and a wrench. I got the wrench right here. You got a flathead over there? There is. But it's over on your side, I think. It's a little, it's right there. Oh. Take that off. You just gotta take the one off. I can't even see what you're talking about. So can you get it? Just, just, no. 
This is just a power steering line. Just move it out of your way. Take that off. I'm, gonna, I'm taking this off. What do I got to take off? Look, Paul, right here. See these two clamps? Oh. Pick. You, you really got to... Well, actually... Why do I got to take No, you off? don't have to. I'm, I'm wrong. Right. We just got to take... I need a 7 16 wrench. No, oh, socket. I have the wrench. The socket's got to be over there. Because so I'm going to take this bracket off to this uh, turbo line. And then that hose will be off and we can start pulling. All right. Socket's not over here. It's not? Uh, must this. That's nine Let's sixteenths. See. Oh, here it is. Oh. Don't stand in front of the camera. Hey. All right. Let me get that nut off. Get a good view of me if you want to. Here. Seven sixteenths in the up. Uh, I need this probably. It's, it's, a, it's a nut. Our bolt nut. Permanent grease marks on this hoodie. That's what yeah, those are your brand new jeans I seen too. I'm like, no. Uh, this pair is just uh, at this point. It's Sorry. double demoted. They're warm work pants. That's what you will call yeah, them. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes. They're still not, you know, at least they're not tore up. They're just, nah, they're just, they're going to get grease. It's whatever. They Working do. in the shop, that's for sure. We put enough hand cleaner okay. in the washing machine. Okay, let's see if I have to get the hose off. Feel hand cleaner in the washing machine. Oh, yeah, right. I got to loosen them both. Okay, both. <laughs> Everything's fight. I hit this off once. Here, look. take this. Kind of I put it on so tight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get the clamp on. Hey, hold on. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. But I had this off not that long ago because I changed this uh, turbo hose or a few oil pieces. <laughs> And I had uh, all this off because I blew out that uh, tip turbine. So I just did such a great job putting it together. That's why <coughs> it's not leaking. There we go. These clamps out of the way. Uh, we got some motion. I pulled these out of the way. Way the chain don't destroy it. All right, yeah, those are just gonna sit there. All right, Paul. Uh, why don't you go get that other flashlight that's on the charge? Because we're just gonna be looking for anything that's hanging up. Shed some light on our situation. Guaranteed, You're right. guaranteed to find at least one wire still hooked up. Well, we're hoping not, but that is possible. That big washer stuck on the bottom of that. Um, why is that stuck on there? That's not um, good. We're gonna have to pull that off. Why? You don't think it's gonna come off nope. once you pull up? No, I don't. No, no. Now we gotta. Uh, we gotta. We got, we're not done fighting now. Oh. Here. Me let's get a hand. Let's get a hand sledge, Paul. Take your help. And smash up on those a little bit. Not like hitting the transmission or anything. Where? Where is my hand sledge? You see that yellow handle one over there in that box? Right there in that battery box, no? Oh. Is there a yellow handle like hand sledge? No. No. Alright, I put it somewhere else. Just trying to... Oh, here it is. Ugh. It's not much yellow. It's not very yellow anymore. I think it's because it's... Uh, all grease. Come on, man. So why don't you think when you pull up on the engine? Because like there's a side. washer that's stuck to that bushing on the bottom. The one that just ripped it apart. When oh no, the no, no, no! It's gonna pull it right out of square. This engine's got to be released from the, from the chassis. We're we're currently not. Um. That's a weird thing. Maybe you should have found a chisel in there and try to knock that off. What they did is they used the wrong bolt. And they used the factory washers again. Here, look, I got this one out. This fine thread is the right bolt. They used the wrong bolt. Because that was coarse thread, and it was a not a nylock. <laughs> That's the problem. 100% guarantee. So we're going to have to get physical with it. 
Hopefully. Where's that slab you were using? Oh, let's well, see if I can just uh, move the thread off. It's just a... Oh, oh damn it. Oops. See if you can hit it on the bottom. See if it does anything. here. If not, we're going to have to get a spike bar in there or something. Try to pry down and pry on it good. We'll get it. There it is. It's so covered in grease, I can't even find it no more. Oops. All right, you guys, we got to fight this. We'll get back with you. All right, you guys, you got it. Junior got it out. Here's some bolts, look. Factory fine thread, coarse thread, grade 8. They forgot the washer. Yeah, too long don't matter. Coarse thread, that ain't no good. So we're going to make that right too. Let's see if we can pull this engine. Let's see what it does. We might have to put a strap ball to the tail shaft. I'm not 100% sure. Hang on, Dad. I'm going to kind of... Pulling this thing in tandem like this is... Uh, not the most ideal. I would prefer to pull the tranny first, but it's just more work under the truck. And these cab overs were designed. Shouldn't have to do that. I think we should go a little more. 
Oh, I think we got it. If not, we'll do a little more. Let's just move it this way some more. What? What? If this fell, it would be a run. Talk to me. Look at the front. Yeah, exactly. It would be a Exactly. I, I, I got to kind of keep it this way if you want to clear this or we got to put it uh, forward. Roll it forward a little bit. Here, you get this side. I'll walk around. Your side is actually needs to go a little further. We'll bring it back to the square of the building. Go, go, go. Okay, stop. That's enough. That's enough. We just want to get get the weight down. Get it lower to the ground. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna look at the handle. Don't do anything. It's out! Ah! We will. Let's get close to the ground. Close as we can get to. I worked with Crane for days a lot of years. You gotta be careful. Well, you're gonna put a big bet in your I'm not hitting anything. What? Just move it over a little bit. Okay. We're getting there. Give us some more. Check it out. Engine is out. I am really happy about this. That's my new crane. First time we used it. We weren't scared, but we uh, haven't used it enough to trust it 100%. It's rated for 4,000 pounds. There's no way that weighs over 2,700, in my opinion. So. Check out between the rails. Look in here. Oh, we got the schmutz. So we're going to be doing some serious cleaning. But now that it's out of the way, we can roll it out, roll it in, get to the frame. You see where the frame ends right there? That's where our new frame's going to be chopped. Cut the taper, go to there, bolt it in. Making progress, guys. This is going to be the first video. Hold on here. Let me set this up. This is going to be the end of the first video. Uh, the engine's out. Transmission's out. We have a chassis. Just a chassis now to work with. Like, subscribe, smash that button, guys. Come on. Let's grow this channel. Thanks for watching. Junior's hiding in the back. Peace.